and welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Britta Swiderski and this week we'll be working with some distress paints and doing a little bit of stamping. I'm going to make a pretty simple background just using this stamp from Hero Arts, the Leafy Vine Stamp CG509 and some distress paints and then a little bit of water. So I'm going to start by using these three colors. I'm going to use Seedless Preserves, Picked Raspberry, and Spun Sugar. I just wanted to go with a more funky look. I've been doing a lot of blues and greens lately, so I wanted to kind of, you know, go a little bit crazier. I'm going to designate an area of my work surface, an area to kind of get a little bit messy. And actually, I want to do my lightest color first, just because I don't want that much contamination, and it'll be kind of fun this way. So I'll just go along the stamp. I don't really have a specific pattern for what I'm doing, but I'm kind of following some of the swirls. And then I'll take my second one. This is the picked raspberry. Get that going on here. And you do that by just pressing the valve down and just squeezing a little bit. There's a valve inside of this. And then kind of going along more of these swirls, filling in some more areas. And then now I have the, pick, the seedless preserves. And I'll go in and add some more color. Making sure that now I have pretty much the whole stamp covered. And this should already be kind of mixing on here, as you see. So now I'll just spray it. Not very much at all. I don't need to, it's already wet. I don't need to re-wet it. I'm just spraying it so that the colors meld together. It's always better to meld it together on the stamp than to do it after it's stamped, because when you do it on the stamp, it blends the colors together. When you do it on the paper, it blends the ink into the paper and makes it kind of feather out. So it's always better to add water on your stamp first and then let the actual stamp do all of the work for you. So now I can just press this down onto my work surface. I'm going to really let that absorb down into that paper and then lift up carefully. And you see we have this really fun look. Now you may be asking yourself, well, why did you use distress paint if I could have done this with distress inks too? Well, besides the fact that this ink is very um, opaque and is really going to take the color very well. I mean, you see the color is very vibrant even though we added water. Um, we could have used ink for this look, but if we were to re-wet this after it dries, it would still blend. The paints do not reactivate once you dry them. So I'm going to zap this with a heat gun and then we're able to do whatever we want over the top and it will not affect this layer. So I'm going to heat this up just enough to dry everything off and then we can add another layer of stamping. So now I'm going to ink the very same stamp up with just the white or the pink white. Maybe a little bit of the darker pink for a little bit of accent color but just the white and then I'm going to stamp this on top and it's going to create this really great shadow effect. So then I'm just going to spray it again just a couple times just to kind of meld everything together. And then again, I'm going to lay it down, not really worrying that it li um, lines up perfectly, but more kind of hoping that it doesn't line up perfectly so that I get a nice little shadow look. We can lift up a look here. And you see we have this really cool double layer effect. Now this area looks a little bit unclean here, a little bit blurry. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go in with another ink on top of this paint to really um, show that detail again. So I'm going to just wash my stamp with a little bit of water and a t-shirt and then we can stamp it again. All right, and now even though I really, I really love it like this actually, I really, I almost want to keep it like this, but I really like that detail in the corner. So, okay, one more layer. We're going to give it a try. No. Oh, no. Well, safe to say that didn't work. Okay, well, 
it just kind of made it look like a mumble jumbled mess. I think I, I mean, I got the stamp off a little bit, like it was too far up. But I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have worked out anyways. So you know what? I'm just going to go back and do the first two steps again with all three of the paints and then just the top two paints. And then I'll get back to where we were before. Alright, so now that I redid my background, <laughs> it's still not as... I liked it better before, to be honest with you. But that's okay. That's what life is about. Um, then I went around and dabbed some extra paint around the edges. Um, kind of to cover up where I got messy from the stamp. And now I'm going to go around and really put on some real paint on the edges and then let this whole thing dry. So while that's drying, I'm going to use this stamp set YOLO from Kelly Perky. It has all these really fun, trendy sayings, and they'd be really great for Project Life. I'm going to use the Why Hello There stamp set, or stamp, and I'm going to use the failed grape juice from before, because I really do think this color coordinates with um, the Seedless Preserves really well. But I just have this scrap piece of white cardstock that I had for another project. And I'm going to stamp my circle on there. Perfect, and then as that dries, it'll it'll even out even more. And then I'm just going to die cut this circle, making sure there's a little border. All right, so I actually went back in with a paintbrush, this Claudine Helmuth one actually, and brushed some of the pink around the edges just to make it a more uniform kind of brushed look. I wasn't really liking the splotchy finger look. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down to our card base, which is just some Nina cardstock, as well as our sentiment, which I also edged using just the pink raspberry dauber. And then I'm going to adhere those with foam adhesive, and then I'm going to add some sequins as our final touch. These are from Kelly Perky, and these are the silver color. Alright, so now that I have everything adhered down, I can start adding my sequins, and this is how I add them. So I pick them up with my tweezers here, and I just dip them ever so slightly in the back of some glossy accents. You can also use Studio Matte Medium, but I find with shiny sequins that the glossy accents works better because it reflects the light in a similar way if it seeps out. Otherwise, the matte accents can kind of mattify it, but also makes a really um, easy to use adhesive as well. Plus, it's just my favorite. But uh, I find that the glossy accents works really well. And you just keep on going this way, and having the tweezers helps so much because these are little tiny guys, you know, they're not that big, and you don't need very much to hold them on either. So just a little dot of adhesive works, and you can do this pretty quickly, especially if you aren't placing them in any exact place, um, like I am here. I'm kind of just scattering them around, placing them inside of the vines here. All right, so I have added the sequins on here. It only took me a couple minutes, really, because these tweezers make really everything really easy to grab. And I'm not even that experienced with tweezers, so trust me, these are from um, EK Success, and they're called Tweezer Bees. I'll have them in the link in the description below, and you can check those out. They're my favorite tweezers, and they're nonstick, so any glue that you get on there comes right off. But this is a look at the finished card, nice and sparkly. I thought about adding some more to the sentiment, some sequins to the sentiment, but I like it just the way it is because it's on a different level. It doesn't need the sequins to stand out. It does a good job of that by itself. Plus, look how many sequins are left over. Like, I poured out probably a, a third of the package, and there's all these left. So there's a lot of sequins in that little package. And I hope you enjoyed my little mess up, as you can see here. It will live forever on my desk, or maybe in my garbage. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks so much for watching. I will catch you again next week on another video tutorial. Mm -hmm.